Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Nice to see you, nice to be back here in these challenging times. Uh, right, let's get away from it all, try and forget about it, and uh, let's just enjoy a shave, each other's company, and we'll just relax and do that. Okay, um, some new products here, uh, recently sent by Global Shave Club, uh, a couple of razors and some uh, shaving oil, which I will tell you about in a minute, and the soap. Uh, and there's a new brush from DS Cosmetic. I will show you that right now. Uh, here it is here. This is the, yeah, I showed you this in a previous video, but this is a, a barber shop style. Barber, barber shop, barber, barber shop pole. Yeah, barber shop pole uh, style handle uh, with a tuxedo knot. I think Sinatra Lennon showed this uh, in one of his recent videos and he wants this now to be his signature brush, but this one just has DS Cosmetic, so. I'll be giving that a go. The soap is from Global Shave and it's Bay Rum Luxury Shave Soap. There's the ingredients on the back. And I will just show this soap here. Yeah, so that's the soap. Um, it doesn't smell much like Bay Rum to me, not what I would be familiar with a Bay Rum scent. Um, it's got a bit of spiciness to it, uh, but it's not, I wouldn't say it's an out and out Bay Rum. Uh, definitely not. It might smell different once it's uh, lathered and stuff, but uh, we shall see. I wouldn't say, if you're looking for a bear rum, I wouldn't uh, say this was your stereotypical bear rum, but then again, that might be a good thing. Some people don't like the scent of bear rum. I don't mind it. This has a, a spiciness to it, but it's also sweet as well. It's nice, it's a nice scent. Okay, the razors. Um, two razors to show you. I'm, gonna, I'm only going to use one of them. Uh, both from Global Shave Club. There's this one, and there's this one. So this one is called the Tsunami, uh, and you can see the handle on this, quite um, quite a bit different. Quite a long handle as well. Uh, now this is based on their R41 tribute head, so quite an aggressive shaver. I'm guessing, I've not used it yet, but that's what I'm gonna guess. Um, here's the other one. This handle looks like the it's based on the Edwin Jagger 316 L handle, which uh, which you can see there. It's kind of yeah, it's got a not bad weight. Actually, I'll put the weight up of both the razors uh, right now on the scales. So the. Uh, Tsunami razor here, slightly heavier, and this one is called the Wave. I'll put some, um, well, once I show you the, the pre shave oil, right, let's get that done first. We'll get that on and then we'll start chatting. Uh, okay, here's the oil. Now, I'm not sure if this is a, a, good, <laughs> a good name for a shave oil. This is a bad shave oil. Now, bad stands for before, after, and during shave. So, uh, there it is, there. There's the um, Ingredients. Where are we? I'll let you read that there. I'll actually read it. Fractionated extra virgin coconut oil, sunflower oil, olive oil, eucalyptus, peppermint, lemon, tea tree, menthol, essential oils. Uh, so this is supposed to be used before, after, and during your shave. I'm just not going to use it as a before as a pre-shave, right? There's a people. Paper, paper, Peter Piper, the pick of pick of peppers. There's a piece of paper that came with uh, the, the the razor and the pre shave oil. I'll let you have a look at that right now. So if you want to go back, have a look. That tells you all about the razors and the, the pre-shave. Right, okay, let's get this on, uh, this oil. One, two, three, four, five, six drops there. Let's put that back on. So there it is in, I don't know whether you can see it there. So just warm this in the hands. Yeah, you can smell the uh, peppermint. Yeah, sometimes a pre-shave oil um, can smell like oil 
but this one is scented so it's nice and you can use it before after or during the shave it's a bad pre-shave oil oh it's not actually a pre-shave oil it's just called a shave oil it's not um, necessarily a pre-shave I'm just going to use it as a pre-shave yeah a nice scent peppermint right so that's that rubbed in the whiskers okay how are you all doing how are you coping how are you coping with this uh, strange world we live in just now I'm coping okay at the moment it's okay it's not too bad right so I want to show you this razor and this razor right so this is a tsunami this one here uh, there's the head on it this is the wave this is a open comb three-piece both three-piece razors but right so I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the handle off this Take the head off the Tsunami razor and let me just show you that handle. Yeah, just that little bit different with this at the top here. Right, so I think if they'd done this, I know the handle on the Tsunami is nice, but look at that, how much nicer does that look? With the wave handle with the Tsunami head. I think that looks really nice with that, just that gold bit at the bottom. There's a good knurling on this. Yeah, if you're familiar with the Edwin Jagger 316 L handle, this is kind of similar. I think that looks much nicer. This is a kind of different styling handle. Nice. Right, but we'll use the, the Tsunami razor today as it's supposed to be used. Let me just uh, screw that back together. Yeah, this one's a, an open comb. The Wave, which I'll use in a future shave. Right, so here's the, the top cap and the base. Uh, the blade I'm going to be putting in that is a Zorik Super Platinum. Third use. Third use on there. These are double wrapped. Good blades out of um, India. Made by Supermax. And there it is there. Zorik Super Platinum. So I'll just put that on there. There you go. Nice uh, posts in there, quite nice and long. Just put the base cap on, screw the handle on, and let me just give it a wipe. Oily hands. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if this handle is going to be slippy or not, but there's the, uh, there's the blade, all lined up. Yeah, it looks good, it looks good. Okay, let's uh, get going with the soap. So I'm gonna use this, although I've applied some oil, it's, uh, you can see the oils soaked into my whiskers. I'm gonna use this as like a, a shave stick. So I'll just wet the soap, wet my face a little, and I'll just uh, rub this into the whiskers like that. Yeah, you could put this in a bowl and uh, lather it from that up. There's different ways you can do it, or you can just hold it in your hand. So how are your shaves been going? I bet you've got, um, well, some of you will still be working, um, but some of you will have time now. Right, I think that's enough soap. So I'll just put that in the water. I think that's nice and clean now. So I'll just leave that on the side there to dry. Feels nice and slick on my fingers. I'm just wondering how this uh, razor is going to be. Let me see when I pick it up. Well, that's uh, that's quite slippy, so we shall see. I'll get the Allen block. And uh, if I need to, I can rub some Allen on my fingers. Okay. Wet this brush and let's go. Yeah, I think this uh, 
Um, coronavirus is really hitting home now that it's, um, you know, you're getting to know some people that have had it, some people that have got it and stuff, and sadly some people that have passed away with it. So just be extra careful. I know um, Mark from Friendship Shaving posted something on YouTube the other day saying that he had um, coronavirus so I hope you're on the mend Mark, I hope you're um, fighting through it I hope you get well soon I'll just put some water in this brush Yeah, I guess if you're um, if you're looking for a bay rum soap, or if you tried a bay rum soap and you're you don't like the scent, some some people don't like it. It's a bit too um, spicy and it's got cloves and stuff in it. This might be up your up your street. Yeah, it's just a I'm dipping the whole knot in there. is great, really soft. Right, dip the whole knot in there again. <laughs> I can take a ton of water, which is always a good thing for me. Just really, just you've got time, so just relax, take it easy, just work the soap into the bristles. Soap. That looks like a good lather. Yeah, I'm not sure the uh, price point of the soap. I don't think it's too expensive, but I'll I'll have a look and uh, I'll put links for everything. Great shine on that as well, can you see? Yeah, look at that brush. Superb. Right. Clear the lips. Do that. Right, let's uh, wet my hands. shaving rituals that they do. Right, okay, let's go with the uh, tsunami. Uh, see how this feels. Um, I think that's been described in that uh, little sheet, that little information sheet perfectly. It feels um, like the R41 tribute but dialed back a little bit. It does feel aggressive but not crazily stupid aggressive. It almost feels different on the first pass when you've got um, a lot of growth. There is um, a tiny little bit of overhang at the sides here. Just to be careful about. Yeah, always on the uh, first pass. Especially if you have a lot of growth like this. Because the blade is uh, slicing through the thick whiskers. Feels slick. Well, that's to do with the oil. Yeah, okay, um, this handle, this 
handle doesn't feel slippy. If you keep your hands rinsed, um, I mean I've got wet hands here and this little bit here is... <laughs> Look at the steam coming off that razor, could you see that? Um, yeah, it feels okay. And for anyone new watching, that little thing I did there with my Adam's apple. If, you, um, if you're shaving over your Adam's apple and you take a gulp and hold it, your Adam, Adam's apple disappears. And that lets you just shave over that area. And you can have that tip for free. Tell you what, this uh, soap, I think it could have had more water in it. Okay, it's a little bit, um, it feels a little bit dry now, my skin. Uh, we'll add some more water when we rinse off. Right, that'll do. Right. Yeah, you see it's, it's kind of sticking to the razor there, so more moisture needed. Right, let me rinse it off. Yeah, it feels good. It feels good. Okay, I'll rinse off, come back for pass number two. Okay, rinsed off. Yeah, when there's um, when there's water on there, it does feel slick. It's um, a residual slickness. Let's uh, just dip that brush under the tap. You can see I didn't really put much uh, soap on to start with. Plenty here in the brush. This is a great brush, really soft. Yeah, so um, I discovered, well, I knew about it, but I, I listened to it the other day. Uh, there's a new wet shaving podcast, well, fairly new. I think they're about five episodes in, four or five episodes in. Uh, it's Jack from the Virtual Groom Room, and it's called Razor and Razor Razor and Burn or Razor Burn Podcast, um, something like that. I'll uh, put the links for it. Yeah, it just uh, passes away an hour, and you're looking to fill your day. Good stuff. Thank you for all the uh, comments you've been leaving. Uh, some of you must have <laughs> a lot of time on your hands because there's old videos going way back that I've made um, that you're leaving comments on, which is great. I mean, people it means people are looking at the, uh, the older videos I've made. And uh, yeah, it's all very good, so thank you very much. Right, let's go across the growth with this Tsunami Razor. Yeah, see now, that feels uh, different to the first pass. It doesn't feel as aggressive because you're not cutting through as many whiskers. That blade is very comfortable. Yeah, very comfy. 
um, a very comfortable shave. Smooth. It doesn't feel right. If, if an R41, um, if an R41's aggression scale, let's say it's a 9, 9.5, this is maybe about a 6 or 7. You can feel it doing its thing. But there's not huge amounts of blade feel or uh, stuff like that. You know, it doesn't feel like the R41 when you shave with it, you, you can really feel the blade. This razor doesn't feel like that. I mean, it's efficient. You can hear it cutting. It's, a, it's, it's very comfortable actually, this handle. Um, just the way it's kind of tapered at the end there and then it goes out again. Yeah, very good. Soap's doing a good job as well. Everything's working as it should. Okay, yeah, that feels slicker now. Really nice. Okay, let me rinse and come back for the third and final pass. Okay, rinse stuff nicely. Back for the third pass. Look at this hair. <laughs> Is anyone else suffering from uh, <laughs> haircut syndrome? <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Right, okay, let's uh, back this brush. Yeah, these, uh, these knots in this brush, super soft, easy to look after. You just rinse them out, pretty much leave them for a couple of hours and they're dry, ready for the next shave. Comfy handle to hold as well. Yeah, great colours as well. Right. Right, I'm going to get in the uh, in the comments. Why is there an why is there an egg on your shower? Well it's uh, it's coming up for Easter weekend. Easter eggs. I know. Right. <laughs> third pass. I'm gonna start at this side for a change. Um third pass. Yeah, hear that feedback. Really good. Yeah, there is slickness there. Plenty of slickness. Not masses of it, but enough to uh, just go over spots. No problem. Right, let's go this side now. Feels good, feels good. I was chatting with uh, Ernie Rocha the other day. Uh, Ernie's a, a wet shaver. Post some great pictures on Facebook of his uh, shaves, and we were chatting on Messenger about um, about shaving and stuff. And uh, 
Then we got into the uh, real deep stuff like life and, and stuff like that. <laughs> and we were saying, I wonder if the world will change uh, after this coronavirus. I wonder if people will be different. Um, you know, if they'll be a bit more tolerant of others and stuff. Yeah, no, we, we said that as well. Kevin, that's way too deep for this channel. <laughs> we'll leave that to uh, Mark from uh, Friendship Shaving. He, 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 he knows, he's a, he's a bit of a scholar. He knows stuff like this. He'll, he'll be able to discuss it. And, um, Yeah, the ins and outs of life, there's a little paper down there. Feels good, I'll tell you what, it feels good. We'll have a quick rinse, see if there's anything getting picked up. Usual spot there. And down here. Feels great. Yeah, there's always a sad little spot here. Just kind of blow my ear. Blow my ear here. Yeah, so um, this weekend, myself and Mrs. Kevy were. Uh, we're going out for a lovely meal and then we're going to go some uh, do some shopping and then we're... Oh no, that was the dream I had last night, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, that's still there, look. That's got it. Right. Feels good. Feels good. Okay. Let me just uh, take what's left in this brush. Not much, but enough. Yeah, just a little bit. But look at that. Really good. Okay. I'll have a face wash, rinse it off with cold water, clean up my gear, and I'll be back for the post shave. Nice scent. Not beer rummy, but a nice scent. See you soon. What an excellent shave. Skin feels good, really smooth. Yeah, nice. Okay, post shave. Uh, this is the only bare arm splash I have, and this doesn't have any alcohol in it, which is quite good. Uh, it's Taconic Shave Bare Arm. Now, again, this for me isn't a out and out bare arm. To me, you know what this smells like after I put it on, after about 10 minutes, cola. I don't know why, there's the ingredients in here. All good stuff, it has uh, witch hazel own stuff in it. So very good. So, it just uh, has a nice restrictor in there. Yeah, I don't know, I get, a, I get a cola vibe from this splash. Right, let's go. Shouldn't burn because there's uh, no alcohol in it, I don't think. No, no burn at all, zero burn. Cola. Yeah, it smells like, a, not fizzy cola, it smells like cola that's lost the gas from it, to me. <laughs> yeah. It has a touch of beer on to it. It has a touch, <laughs> what was that?
was that? It has a touch of beer onto it. But um, to me it smells like like flat cola. Which is a good thing. I like that. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> look at this hair. I still look like grandpa from the monsters. Gee, Hermie. Hermie? Who the hell's Hermie? Right, I'm gonna finish it off with some that's got menthol on it. Wow, that's nice. I'm gonna finish it off with some Bart's uh, lavender aftershave balm. One, two pumps, that's all you need. Just to put some moisture back in. Bear rum and lavender. Well, strictly speaking, no, but as I've said before, there are no rules in shaving. If you do what you want to do. I am. Um, <laughs> I don't catch all his videos, but um, I am CDB. <laughs> I've seen a couple of his videos where he he talks about people using um, where he uses a, a scent like a soap, and it'll be people will say, "That's for the fall, that's for the fall." And <laughs> he just makes me laugh at this face the way he does it, like um, this little whingy person. <laughs> Good stuff, Chris. Nice one. Uh, right there we go. That's a shave. Very, very good. Very comfortable. No issues, no drama. Let me show you what we've used. The razor, fantastic. Really, really good. Uh, this is Global Shave Club Tsunami. Kind of based on the uh, their tribute to the R41. It has a similar style head, but they dialed it back just a little bit, so it's not as aggressive. Uh, and for me, very, very good. Inside that, a Thug Juice Zoric Super Platinum. Fantastic. Really good. And the paired in this razor, no issues, felt comfortable, smooth. Yeah, nice, nice handle. I like it, very good. Um, soap, which is here, uh, there is there. Uh, Global Shave Club again, Bayrum Luxury Shave Soap. Very good. Not your typical Bayrum, but um, a nice scent, all the same. And. Uh, I used it like a shave stick. Oh, we started the uh, shave with the before, after, and during shave oil from Global Shave Club. This is the bad shave oil. This is one bad shave oil. Good stuff. Um, I think it was about what, half a dozen, six, six little drops. Uh, rubbed it into the beard. Worked perfectly. Did it add any slickness? I don't know. Probably. Well, if it's oil, it will have. But um, don't be put off with people saying that. Oh, clog your razor up and stuff. I've never found that to, to be any issues using um, a pre shave oil and stuff like that. Uh, the brush, DS Cosmetic, barber shop pole, barber pole shop handle uh, with a tuxedo knot, very soft, great knot. Whipped up the lather, no problem. Yeah, I used the soap like a shave stick, just rubbed it into the whiskers and lathered up, no problem. Took a lot of water that soap, which I like, very, very good. Um, that was that. Three passes, pickups, rinsed off with cold water, um, post shave was Taconic Shave Bay Rum, which to me smells like cola, which I like. <laughs> and the uh, cream, uh, cream, the balm was Bart's Lavender. And that's the shave. Yeah, very happy, very comfortable, skin feels great. Okay, that's all from me for today. Right, whatever you're doing, Stay safe in this crazy, crazy world that we're living in just now. If uh, any of your friends or family or loved ones are going through this coronavirus, if they've picked up the virus, uh, my thoughts are with you. Um, anyone that's battling it, yeah, my thoughts are with you and your family uh, for all that sort of stuff. But please stay safe. Um, keep watching these videos, interacting. I might actually do a live shave at the weekend. I don't know, I'll see how the time goes and what happens, stuff like that. I might do one Saturday night, Sunday night. Uh, we shall see how it goes, but um, keep an eye out for that. I'll, I'll probably let you know on YouTube um, if I'm going to be doing one. Yeah, I've thought about doing one for a while now, so um, everyone kind of has time to watch, so it should be good fun. It's good to just get a little bit of relief and uh, uh, spend time with like-minded people doing the things we love, which is uh, using all this sort of stuff and showing it off and uh, 
telling all your people about it and um, yeah, I just, uh, I love it, I love it. It's really, really good, a great community and uh, if we all stick together, we'll get through this. Okay, that's enough from me. You take care of yourselves. I love you all. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.